Another cheeky little 330ml can available from the supermarket. Four of these can be had for just six quid. What's it taste like? Check out the review to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're going to be reviewing this beer. Now this has got an absolutely stunning cover. You know, you can see that. We've got a little rabbit there. It's nice and pink. Lots of little uh, cartoony sort of pictures there. And there's a little, I think that is a an owl that he's trying to pull out of his hat. And this is by Allendale. So this is Allendale Brew Company. It's not a company that I've really heard of before. But I saw this in Morrison's. Um, as I said in the intro, it's you can buy these for like one pound eighty, um, which is pretty good value. You can buy four; these are part of the four for six pounds. So you can buy four of these, or you can buy buy four of other small ones, which is what actually I did. Um, this one's called Dirty D's, and it's a New England IPA, and it's coming in at a great six point six percent. Obviously, with something like this, quite quite um quite a cheap one and Aaron Del yeah I've never seen Allendale anywhere else I've never seen their big cans I've never seen them in bottle shops so whether this is specifically for the supermarkets I'm not sure but what I like about this can it's got all the information you need on it tells us about um, where it was brewed and it tells you it's got the um, if you look I'm just going to show you that it tells you the hops and the malt so it's got Galaxy and Vic Secret and the malts are Palau Oats and Wheat and it's also got this like quite handy little colour chart here and as you can see it's going to be more like this yellow because that's what the, the square is the other thing is about this beer you don't see this much on, on many beers these days it's actually got the IBU and the IBU is 20. Now IBU, those who don't know, stands for International Bitterness Unit. You would expect, this sort of can go up to about 100, but you would expect lagers are usually between sort of five and 10. Um, and then as you sort of sort of go up the into the sort of parallels and, and IPAs and obviously stouts and you're going up much higher. So 20, that's fairly low. Um, so I expect in this, as a New England IPA, I would expect that to be low, but it's quite nice to have that information on there. You don't see that anymore or not enough. Um, I think I've had one or two cans that have had it, but mostly they don't. So. I've waffled on enough. Let's get this beer out of the can and into a glass. Pretty lively on the open. You can see it's starting to pour out there. New England IPA, but what we're going to, you don't usually see New England IPAs in small little cans like this. Generally, there might be New England Parallels, which are similar. This is IPA 6.6%. So, beer in a glass. We've got. Doesn't look like a New England IPA. This is quite orangey. Um, it's got a slight haze, quite a lot of carbonation rising up the glass there. But we've got a two finger head, and it's certainly it's it's a nice golden orangey colour, but very untypical. I mean, even the can, it's it's, it's as you say, it's, if you can see it there, it's highlighted the the yellow, but I wouldn't say that's that's more like the second or even the third one. So. Let's hope this one is actually all right, nothing wrong with it. So let's get some aroma, shall we? Hmm, not much. A yeah, slight peachiness and tangerine. Again, alarm bells are starting to ring because I get you wouldn't expect those sort of aromas in a New England IPA. Maybe a bit of passion fruit. But there is a sort of a more sort of stone fruity sort of um, aromas there. I think I'm going to have to just try it. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Well, first things first, it's a bit more bitter than I expected. There is that sort of orange, but there's also that sort of very sort of sweet candied sort of flavour like like a you know like tutti frutti sort of sweets um but it's also got that sort of stone fruit flavour as well a bit more sort of peachiness it's it's not a new a new england ipa this is very uncharacteristically like. I've had lots of New England IPAs. People that watch the channel know that New England IPAs is my 
favourite type of beer. I wouldn't say I'm an expert on them, but this doesn't taste like a New England IPA. I'm trying to get some flavours there. A, there's a real sort of sweetness. I'm trying to work out what it is. Passion fruit, tangerines, orange, a little bit of peach, maybe apricot, even even going into sort of really sort of darker fruits like plum, that sort of thing. It's very uncharacteristic. It's not a flavour that I've really tasted before. And it has a little bit, a bit more bitterness on the back end than I would probably expect. It's an interesting one. It's different. It's not... That flavour that I can taste it's, well, that's confusing me so much is a little bit of dankness and a sort of almost like a hot burn to it. Almost a little savoury sort of notes. It's quite strange. I've sort of hinted on that sort of stuff before, but you don't normally get that with a small little supermarket can. It's quite interesting. I think if you are like... The one thing that annoys me about this is it says a New England IPA. It does not taste like a New England IPA. There's a bitterness that you get with a West Coast IPA. The flavours are more sort of in the orange and stone fruit level. Again, not typical of a New England IPA. There's no real freshness of fruit flavours like mango and pineapple in it. There's an artificial sweetness in it that sort of ruins it. And then there's that bitterness on the back end. It, the bitterness is almost there that it sort of dry and it dries your throat out. Makes me want to drink another one. But it's got that, I can't put my finger on it, a sweet, artificial, with a little bit of dankness and a that sort of candied sweetness that just tastes not right and certainly not in a beer. So it's confused me a little bit, but I think I'm ready for some scores. So let's get some scores. Okay, the scores are in for this little cheeky Allendale Brew Company Dirty Deeds New England IPA, 6.6%. First things first, this is not an IPA, New England IPA. Doesn't taste like one, doesn't look like one at all. So, first things first, aroma. It doesn't smell like one either. There's a sort of artificial sweet sweetness. Slightly orange, tangerines, real sort of a bitter orangey sort of flavor of aromas um, it's not the best it's not a new england tropical pineapples and mangoes and grapefruits i would expect i'll give it a 9 out of 20 for aroma appearance though it's probably you know as much as it doesn't look like new england i play it looks quite nice you've got nice lace in the glass the head still retained it's a nice orange and hazy sort of color 7 out of 10 for um, appearance flavor though it's a low score and it tastes artificial and it, it just has a bitterness that's really unpleasant. There's a sort of candied sweet flavour as well. Um, with with Galaxy and Vic Secret, we have those hops in in other beers that we've had. It just they just don't seem to work in this at all. So I'm only giving it a 25 out of 40 for flavour. Value for money, well, as you say, you can pick. I picked this up and it worked out at £1.50. It's quite cheap. I don't feel too bad that I'm not a big fan of it. I haven't spent huge amounts of money. So I give it a, uh, an 8 out of 10 for value. Um, but my overall experience, enjoyment, would I recommend it? No. Would I drink it again? No. Um, I'm a little bit, although I like the can art and I like what it's got on the can, I do feel that it's more bitter than a. a than a um, IBU 20 sort of suggests and it also is not in any sense of the word it could be called a New England IPA it's nothing like any New England IPAs I've had before so I'm giving it 9 out of 20 totting those scores up we get a pretty poor um, 58 out of 100 so it's a cold play it, I couldn't even call it bland like cold plays it's just bitter bitter and twisted a little bit like myself, really, after drinking this. I'm going to have to go to the fridge and find something better just to take the flavour away. 
this one won't be making it all the way through the end of the glass. If you see this, avoid it. Until the next one, keep on rocking.